Hello everyone, it's Mike here. Welcome back to another beaver video. My evening last night started with an adult beaver eating in front of me. And this younger beaver pulled up to see if there was anything he could eat. And the younger beaver grabbed a stick. The adult decided to move a little ways further downstream, but not far. After the younger beaver ate all of the leaves off of that stick, he just went about 10 meters further upstream where the adult had found a very nice, tasty branch. And the younger one just pulled up and fortunately this adult was more than happy to share. And for the next while, the two of them just sat there chewing contentedly on their leaves. All of these clips were filmed uh, last night, which was Sunday, September 18th, and basically in the last 45 minutes of daylight. They've been coming out later and the sun's been disappearing earlier, so the window for photos and videos is getting narrower by the day. As you'll see in a second here, the younger one decided that uh, this branch was so good she wanted it for herself. And she very boldly just snatched it and turned the other way. And fortunately for the little one, the adult seemed content and did not react. So this one was left to her feast. Shortly here, I pulled the camera back just so you can see where we are. We're on the east bank of the river, just slightly south of the University Bridge. And at this time of night, there's the bridge reflects a really beautiful silvery gold color in the water. Makes for some great shots as the sun's going down. The adult came back for a little bit more and uh, you can see very selfishly the younger one really didn't want to share even though the adult was the one who had brought this branch to the river in the first place um, but the adult didn't seem to mind. And here again, I show you where we're sitting. It's a, a beautiful time of night. Uh, they call it the golden hour for a reason, I guess. The, the light and the reflections just makes for a really gorgeous uh, kaleidoscope of colors. And um, the round arches underneath the bridge make for some beautiful framing of some photos too. A few minutes later, another young beaver that's, I believe, the same age as this one that was in front of me came along and swam over to see what was for dinner. And that beaver gave her sibling a nudge and her sibling went away with part of the stick and, and left quite a bit of yummy leaves and branch for the third one to come along. It's nice to see everyone kind of sharing tonight. Meanwhile, much to my delight, uh, the one that got uh, bumped away stopped right in front of me, literally about six feet in front of where I was watching with my tripod. The light's a little different because now she sort of has the uh, what's left of the setting sun behind her. So I'm kind of on the shady side, but it was uh, close enough that I can give you a nice view and the, the lighting wasn't too much of a problem.
Meanwhile, I noticed the adult was still nearby and was only about 15 meters downstream from where I was set up. So I turned my camera in that direction. I liked the way the light was hitting this beaver. So I decided to film the, be the adult beaver for a few seconds. As I was doing that, the third beaver that had come along decided to explore the shore and scrounge for whatever leaves or twigs uh, she could find. So I, of course, I love to follow the action in case anything happens. So I just allowed my camera to follow this beaver onto the shore and see what she was up to. That beaver stumbled upon a branch that must have been uh, left from last night's uh, snacks and sat in the water to eat it. And then at that point, I just kept my camera on the two of these beavers as they finished off their evening meal. And here you can see uh, that other beaver that had been just a little further upstream is now heading downstream on her own. My video is about to come to an end because unfortunately a couple of people in a canoe decided to come for a closer look and I know the beavers are not comfortable with the canoes and uh, but I didn't have it in me to ask the people not to come closer because they were curious about the beavers, but I also knew that would end my beaver adventures for the night. Thanks for watching. Cheers.